Right now we have the so-called handler of the witnesses in the court trying to give an explanation for how comes he handles witnesses that are so poor. Tomorrow we're going to hear from the last, they call it eyewitness, I call it lie witness. Yeah. 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 So the last lie witness is going to be here. I remember what I said. They're going to call him Q. He's the cousin of the first lie witness. Lie the first lie witness. Yes. And we know exactly what he's going to say. Yeah. He's going to say he can see through concrete, Ron Carner, and in the dark. Yeah. Once this lie witness has been demolished, as all the other lie witnesses have been demolished, yes, the only person I believe that we will have to give evidence should a judge decide that it's necessary, even though on the balance of everything that we've heard in this court, the case should be chucked out yeah. at the end yeah. of the yeah. prosecution yeah. case. Yeah. So we don't know if this case will still be ongoing next week, Monday. So what we'll ask is we will ask people still to attend, because if the court isn't on, then the jury should have been sent out. Yeah. We don't expect this jury to take a long time. We don't think that this jury is confused. We don't think that this jury is corrupt. And we don't think that this jury is blind. So we would ask people to come next week Monday so that we can see justice being done. If the case is going to go longer than next week, then we'll be here with our banners and placards. Yeah. If we're not out here with our banners and placards, it means we're inside the court. And if we're not inside the court, it means that we've gone back to Tottenham for one of the biggest knees up that we can possibly have. Because this truly is... Because this truly is the last round in the battle of Goldwater Farm. This truly is... This truly is the final finale. This, this is the end of this episode. The only way that this doesn't finish, the only way that this doesn't finish is as if we, the community, decide that we're not going to let it finish. As if we, the community, go on to find ways to properly tell our story. Yes. And that means we make yes. the movie or we write the book. Word, word, we won't be relying word. on an absent media to come along and tell our story yeah. for us. Because yeah. this story, this is no longer history, this is our story. Yeah. So everybody, I beg you, when you go home, Keep Nicky Jacobs in your thoughts. We will. We will. Keep Nicky Jacobs in your mind. We will. Yes. And next week, or at the end of this week, let's come back as a community to find out, to see, and to watch what they do to our brother Nicky. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Apart from, I've spent the whole of the Mark Duggan trial, I spent tweeting and putting out information. On this trial, I've been unable to tweet or put out information. And the reason that I've done it, or not done it, is because I've been so dumbfounded, so horrified, so shocked of what is taking place in this court. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't even know what to say to you, apart from my They're going backwards. My heart felt thanks for coming here and standing with us. If you we wasn't here, we were still going to be here. And, and I accept, it should be our duty. Yeah. It should be our duty. And from this, what I hope you all do, is when you go back into your community, and when you hear them say, Nikki is released, and when you see people jumping up and down saying, yeah, 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 we knew he was innocent. We need to check those people and ask those people how they knew without coming to court. How they were so confident that justice would be done without standing up to ensure that justice is done. Yeah. And we need to find a way that we take strength 
from all the weeks that we've been here, standing up, almost in solitude, we need to take, learn from this and find a way to use this to empower, especially our younger ones, yes. to believe. Yes. To believe that when you're right, there should be there should be no fight. When you're right, you have no alternative but to stand up and fight. That's right. When you know the truth, you have no alternative but to speak it as loudly and as clearly and as plainly as possible in the face of those who would tell you lies and in the face of those who would tell you to be quiet we have to stand up yes. we don't do this for ourselves we don't do this because we like it we do this for our future Word. we do this for our youth Word. we do suffering. this to Amazon make this suffering. place a better country for everybody That's to be able to yes. grow up into right. it's a disgrace and a farce in the 21st century, we still see modern attempts at lynching yeah, being taken right. out That's and right. carried out still in what right. should be the most prestigious, the most honourable building in the country. A legal system. So we fight and we fight on. Yeah. But what we take from this is our fight isn't a simple one. Our fight is it one that we can lose simply? Our fight is a righteous fight. Yeah. We have the moral high ground. Yeah. Yeah. We are the 99% that has come to undo the unjust work of the 1%. Yeah. Stand proud, stand strong, and remember, an injustice to one, who wants to go in the court? There's a shock there, you can leave your telephone. Or a shock down there, you can leave your telephone. See you all next week. Not for this week. Me too. Stop. Oh God, I'm going to see you next week. Thanks for that, yes.